According to reports, the 49ers are going to sign defensive tackle Robert Kemdiche. Jesse, what do you think? <laughs> God, I, I got to be real. I don't know a lot about him other than he was a first round pick, I believe, of the Seahawks in 2016. 26 overall, something like that. I mean, he, he can't be that great if he's still out there, right, as a free agent. But I will say this. The 49ers are really funny to me because they will say things where they show the utmost confidence in certain people, but their actions say something different. Mm -hmm. All offseason, all we've heard is how confident they are in Kinlaw. Yep. His rehab's going good. We're watching him out the windows. He's looking great. Yep. But then when they are right about to start training camp, they've got 15 defensive linemen on this team, something crazy like that, and you go sign another defensive tackle. Why? Why? Yeah, why? You What's play the same position as the guy you just mentioned. Now, I mean, maybe maybe that goes back to our conversation about D Ford. Maybe it's more so about that. They're going to let D Ford go now that he's able yeah, to pass a physical. I don't position. know. They do. They do. But maybe they feel like they're thin inside. Quick, is maybe, maybe they need a camp body because maybe the guy you mentioned won't necessarily be out there for every single snap with mm. first team. Maybe they'll need yeah. to go easy on him or maybe he won't be ready right away or who knows. That's the first thing that went in my mind. A camp body at best. At worst, it's um, they need him. Because he guy started six games in his career. He was a first round pick for the Cardinals. He did play for Seattle last year. He was the, the number one recruit in the nation coming out of high school in 2013. But he's been a real disappointment. I guess give him to Chris Koster and see what happens. Um, not really sure the guy's going to make the team. But as you pointed out, it's kind of interesting that he plays Kinlaw's position. Kind, more than yeah. Kind of yeah. I mean, it ha you have to raise an eyebrow at it, right? Yeah. You're bringing in a guy who was a first round talent. Yeah, you said the number one recruit in 2013. I mean, this right. is a guy who has a lot of talent that hasn't been reached. The uh -huh. potential hasn't been reached in the NFL. Chris Kasurik said he get the best out of everybody. We know that already. We've seen it a thousand times over. So still with that being said, he's still only 27. That's what I'm saying. It's not like yeah. he's old. Uh -huh. So it's an interesting move to say the least. And and again, maybe they feel like they have a lot of depth on the edge, which I can agree with actually. And so instead of replacing D Ford with another defensive end, well, you can do it with an interior lineman as a camp body and just see, see what happens. But I do have to question what's going on with Ken Law. Is he really as healthy? Because we were, we were told this last year as well, right? He's yeah. healthy. He's ready. He was, you know, in practices a little bit, then sitting out of practices, his knee swelled up on the flight over to training, just a bunch of weird things. So the hope is, is that he's healthy. He can get his career on on track and that everything that they've been telling us about him is accurate and he's ready to go because they got to figure out if he is or if if he isn't at this point. But it does feel like they just didn't they like they just invested in a Javon Kinlaw insur insurance policy like the day sure. the week before camp started. So not a great sign, although we'll have to see.